there's been a significant amount of change in the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. Briefly going over some information from previous interviews, Andrew Cornelia on the Coast to Coast live stream mentioned welcome pricing at 40 cents per kilowatt hour, which was the knock in the door phase of the network's growth. He also mentioned 15 locations every 150 miles on Interstate 5, and they should have some live by the end of the year. We think we have the first location known, which is Red Bluff, California. I'll get into that in a second. They're hoping to have 2,500 stalls open by 2027 with a financial commitment of $1 billion. Now, that's a little bit over a year and a half away from where we currently are. If they're talking about the beginning of 2027 or they're talking about the end, it would be a little bit over two and a half years away. And if you do the math on that, that is about two 12 stall stations per week. And that's pretty close to what we're seeing out of Mercedes-Benz right now. So they seem to be uh, sincere in their announced intentions. This is from a interview from Hikeo Schmidt, who is the uh, VP of Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging, mentioning uh, the retrofitting of NACs and a few other things. But the um, announcements coming from the leadership at Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging seems to be in unison and they seem to be executing according to what they are saying they were going to do. This is again mentioning the Mercedes-Benz i5 corridor build and there was not a lot of movement but we think we have the first one uh, known. This little Mercedes icon, assuming those are associated to actual stations, would be Red Bluff, California. And um, so they're expecting to have every 150 miles another one of these stations open. I did this table and then just this morning they opened a new one. And because when they open a station, it appears on the charge point app and in the alternative fuels data center database, but that's not actually open for customers yet. I didn't add it to this table. So some of these also fall into that category. I'll get to that in just a second. But just going over some of the new ones, Round Rock, Texas, Denton, Texas, Greensboro, North Carolina, the Friendly Center I've visited there and did a site visit video, which I'll link down below in the description. Ellington, Florida, Lee, Massachusetts, Thornton, Colorado, which is the one that's furthest west, I believe. Also furthest, um, well, I don't know about furthest north. And South Windsor, Connecticut, Delray Beach, Florida, Baytown, Texas, Terrell, Texas. The one that was just announced to be open today is the Norfolk pre Premium Outlets, and we'll see that here in just a second. If you go to PlugShare, there is a way to filter for just the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging stations, which are all of these. And I should mention that starting... Let's see, it would be the day after tomorrow. I'm recording this on uh, Tuesday, July 1st. But on Thursday, uh, July 3rd, they're going to be decreasing the price at all their stations across the entire network down to 25 cents per kilowatt hour. And they're going to hold that price down at that uh, level until the end of the 4th of July holiday week and putting it back up uh, the Monday after. So the entire... Uh, the day before the 4th of July, all the way through the weekend, and then they'll be readjusting after. So anyone who's doing travel plans uh, during the holiday uh, weekend, if you're looking for a place to stop to get a recharge at a less expensive rate, um, these are all available to you. And again, you can search these on PlugShare. Also, Bucky's are very popular travel destinations. You can search inside Bucky's for locations that are Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging uh, locations and all the Bucky's that have these, which there's quite a few, I think it's 16 now, um, will pop up for you, making it convenient to search. This is their map of open and coming soon. And if you look at this one and you hover over it, it says Red Bluff, California. That's how we know that. This one is in Utah. And if you look, there's a tight cluster coming into the extreme northeast portion of the country. So that has often been an overlooked area for EV charging builds. But Mercedes-Benz, although they were focusing here in the southeast initially, are now starting to expand their footprint into the Upper East Coast, which is very refreshing to see. And right here in Orlando, a 20 stall station has been announced going in. We don't know the specific location yet, but 20 stalls. These are the locations uh, 
that are coming soon. Just to go over some of these really quick. Hillsboro, Texas is not open yet. Orlando, as I mentioned, 20 location, uh, 20 stalls. Lutz, Florida, another one in the state of Florida, which is um, northeast of Tampa. Fishers, Indiana, making their way into the Midwest. And as I mentioned, this is the Norfolk Premium Outlets, 10 ports. There's a Plugshare ID listed there if you want to go search to see what it looks like. And um, I do have a picture of it coming up here in a second. And then as you can see, two in Massachusetts, one in New Hampshire, and one in Maine. So very encouraging to see. Now let's go over what we have new as far as builds. Delray Beach, now open in um, southern Florida. A uh, nice looking station. The design is starting to become very characteristic. So Alpitronic hyperchargers, some of them dual handled, some of them single handled. A mix between NAX and CCS, these uh, characteristically designed posts. And please notice if you do go and use one of these stations for the first time, the stall number is listed up here on these posts. A lot of people will go to charge and they'll say, well, there's no stall number, and that is true. I've done it myself, so don't feel bad. But if you're looking for the stall number, it's up here on the post. Terrell, Texas, open. This is a dated picture, but it is now open. This is east of Dallas. South Windsor, Connecticut, now open. The shops at Evergreen Walk. I mentioned this on one of my new um, alternative fuels data center database um, updates. I think it was last week. Thornton, Colorado, now open. A lot of people have been checking in here. Um, very excited for this station. I'm not quite sure why uh, people are so excited. I think it's because it's right off the interstate. It's right near a big anchor um, popular shopping mall and in an area that's uh, more underserved. The Ellington Premium Outlets, uh, also open. And as you could tell, these are very, very rinse and repeat type of designs. Uh, there is a little bit of variability in the designs, uh, number of stall count and the number of, st of stalls that are fed from a single handled Albitronic hypercharger are some of the variabilities in these. But you can see the, the, um, the wraps on the chargers, the light posts and the stall numbers on the posts are all uniform across the stations. Denton, Texas, this one went from uh, no one really knowing what was going on to being fully opened in a very short amount of time. It is at a Bucky's northwest of Dallas. The Friendly Center, close to me. I did, As I mentioned, I did a review of this station. It's really nice next to an Apple store and uh, seems pretty popular also with the locals. It is not near an interstate at all. So this is a place where locals frequent in order to get recharged. In fact, I actually think I... So is that a, no? That's not a Rivian. Never mind. It's a GMC Sierra. Baytown, Texas. There wasn't a really good picture, but this is now open. It is east of Houston on Interstate 10. Norfolk Premium Outlets. This says not open because when I put this slide deck together, that was the case. But then the news changes, right? And as you can see right here, there's two stalls that are fed from single-handled Alpitronic hyperchargers. So if you have a faster charging car and want to not share your power with your neighbor and get the full 400 kilowatts, you could pull into one of these stations. This is in Norfolk, Virginia, all the way near the Atlantic coast. Hillsboro, Texas, we have some updated pictures. You can see that the uh, progress is being made. The fence is still up as far as I could tell. Um, and I think they're still waiting on the transformer. Lastly, there was a event in Europe concerning an AMG version of a Mercedes that is coming out. And this Alpitronic HYC 1000 was pictured along with it. And it was mentioned that this car paired with a prototype of an Alpitronic could do 850 kilowatts at a thousand volts, um, which caught a lot of headlines. But what caught my headline, um, or what caught my interest with this, is that they were saying that these were going to be deployed in the Mercedes network. Now, Mercedes does operate a network in Europe, so we're not sure if this is going to first show up in Europe and then the United States or vice versa. If I had to guess, it would go into Europe first. That seemed to be the indication I got. It's speculation on my part, but that seemed to be reading the um, information 
uh, what the intention was. Uh, Alpitronic and Mercedes are both headquartered in Europe, so it kind of makes sense that that's where it would first appear. But basically, this is an, an indication to me that the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network is planning on deploying HYC-1000s in the future. So they did a pivot away from the ChargePoint Express Plus to the Alpitronic HYC-400s, and now it looks like they're getting ready to do a pivot from the HYC-400s to the HYC-1000s. Thanks for watching, and everyone have a good holiday weekend.